Boxing King Media in association with Boxer Tony Sims. Just in the press conference, senior uh, the opponent, Rakimov, looks very confident. I spoke to Freddie Roach. One of the things he said to me that stuck out to me is that he's saying if you guys are looking for a technical fight, you'll still get outboxed. Uh, yeah, that is a strange thing to say. <laughs> Because one thing Joe Caldean is, is a great boxer, so we'll see anyway. And uh, you know, like the, the fights that I've seen of Rackham and that's all you can go by. You know, he's uh, he's a tough, tough competitor. You know, he, he walks you down and wings him in from either side. So you know, I don't think I don't believe that he'll change overnight from his style. Same as Joe won't change overnight from his style. So. You know, we're expecting a, a tough fight with Rakimov and um, you can't always listen to what trainers say, what they're going to do and what they ain't going to do. So, you know, no one's going to tell you exactly what they're going to do before the fight. So you can't look too much into that. But it's going to be a tough fight. He's unbeaten. He's world champion. So it's going to be an hard fight. But I believe Joe's a special fighter, he's unbeaten and a world champion, so, you know, he's a special fighter and I, I think it's going to be a great night Saturday. What did you learn, uh, the, the, the biggest thing about Rakimov in his fight with Zelfa Barra, you know, Zelfa had a lot of success in that fight until he got caught, um, is, it, is it stuff you picked up in there that gives you a lot of confidence? Yeah, Zelfa's a good fighter, you know, he, he, he's a world class fighter and as you say, he was definitely winning the fight. You know, it looked like, to me, it looked like he ran out, a bit, out of a bit of gas, really. But I feel like if he never gassed in the fight, I believe that he would have gone on to win the fight. So, you know, he dropped Rakimov and uh, he was completely outboxing him. But, you know, it's, it's a 12-round fight and, you know, it's like running running a marathon. You know, you got to be there till the end. And, uh, you know, Cordina's in brilliant shape brilliant condition he's had a good camp so you know I know that he's he's good for the 12 rounds so um, you know uh, and I believe like as I said earlier he's a special fighter he's got a, a great IQ in the boxing department and it, it'd be very very difficult to be outboxed in, in his weight division you've obviously been with Joe since day one and one of the things questioned about him has always been his punch power. Uh, do you feel you've silenced that issue around the punch power now? Well, I, I believe he's always had power. What you got to realise is he was a lightweight for a long time. He won the British title at lightweight. And, uh, you know, I moved him down, down to super feather because I didn't believe that he was big enough to be a lightweight. You know, and some of them lightweights are light. They're, they're like like welters, welters. They walk around. They're big men. So perhaps in his early days, he didn't look like he could punch. But now he's dropped down to his right weight division. If you see, uh, I think it was the fight before that. Uh, he boxed a good kid from Chicago. He, you know, he, he knocked him out cold in the first round as well. So you've sort of seen his punchy power on display down at super featherweight, which is his right weight category. And uh, one of the things he said to me that stood out to me was, you know, because he referred to it in an interview yesterday saying how he's pissed off with people saying things about him on Twitter and asked him if it was anything specific and he said, obviously because of the pull out and you've, people have suggested, and I said it's a select few people calling him a drugs cheat, etc. And he obviously, to clarify, he's never been done for anything, but it must piss you off, it must piss him off where a select amount of people cast them uh, opinions. Cast him what? Them sort of opinions, just based on one one test. What with Joe Caldina, yeah. And uh, what you got to realise, he, he he's been an unbelievable amateur. You know, he won gold at the Europeans and boxed in the Olympics. So you know, he had like over 180 fights as an amateur. And uh, you know, he uh, he's uh, you know he's he, he's he's a world level amateur and a world level. Uh, world level professional so you know he's uh, he's been in with a lot of top fighters you know and uh, Agawa was a top level world class fighter and he just demolished him in two rounds so you know you, you can't really say he's not been in at world level 
And the, the other thing I want to speak to you about is uh, with, with Conor Ben, you know, I, I recently posted a video of Conor Ben at sparring with Kell Brook. Um, you was obviously there ringside watching the spars. Both men suggest that they feel like they got the better of the other. Uh, but you was there. Uh, you you tell us from what you saw. Would you be confident of a, a Kell Brook fight against Conor Ben? Do you think that's the right fight? Can't really look into sparring, to be honest. You know what I mean? I think, like, both Kell and Conor are just trying to talk a fight up. But you can't really look into sparring because they got, like, big gloves on, head guards. You can't really look into it. It's like, it's just practising, really. It's, it's not real. I just want to get your opinion, Tony, on the, the situation around this four-way heavyweight show that may happen in Saudi at the end of the year. Um, the rumour is Anthony Joshua may sit out uh, and not take an interim fight. Do you think that's the right decision or, or the wrong decision? What, what do you think he should do with the potential of a wild uh, big money fight in December? Yeah, like, you know, Anthony Joshua knows what he's doing. He's operated at the top level for, uh, like, years and years, you know, and... Uh, He's a two-time heavyweight champion in the world and he knows what he's doing, he's experienced. If he feels like he don't need to box in December, then that will be the right decision for him. And, uh, you know, he knows exactly what he's doing. What do you think comes out on top of that big four-way uh, thing if it does come off on, uh, on a, a winter night in Saudi? Oh, who knows? Great, great. Like, if, if that actually happens, that's going to be like... You know, I think every boxing, yeah, Super Bowl of boxing. Yeah. just, just not, just not every person in boxing. I think most people in the world will set up to watch that fight. It's just like, uh, you know, it's just like an unbelievable spectacle that will be. I'm sure you'll want one of your fighters on the undercard if it does happen, just so you got a ringside ticket. Maybe, who knows? Who knows? Tony, appreciate your time, and thank you.